Danger Dolan, strats for all Throne of Thunder encounters, whether you tank, heal, or DPS. Refer to the links below this video for the guide that caters to your role. Mechanics. Here's how the fight works. Horridon is a gigantic dinosaur with hardly any mechanics. He has an attack where he sweeps both his face and tail at the same time, and essentially it's a two-way current attack, so if you melee, just hang around near his ribcage and you'll be fine. Be aware though that the boss will randomly charge at a player, and this will require your group to reposition quickly. The attack itself is indicated by a large red circle just before it happens. There's going to be four doors. When the fight starts, a certain group of troll adds will keep spawning from the same door until you can make Horridon bash his head against it. When you're fighting the adds, a Dinomancer will jump down from the roof and he needs to be interrupted pronto or he will heal Horridon. When the Dinomancer reaches 50% health, he'll transform into a dinosaur and drop a green orb. Anyone can click the orb because all it does is make Horridon bash the door. So if you see it, then click it. Once the door is crushed, adds will spawn from another door. This goes on and on until all four doors have been crushed. Then the big boss jumps down. Anyway. As heals, you'll need to keep on top of dispels, healing periodic, hard on tank damage, constant and hard hitting add tank damage, healing people who stand in bad stuff as well as saving all your cooldowns for the final phase. First group, the Faraki. Keep your eyes peeled for swirly yellow void zones on the ground. Get out of them immediately. They're kind of hard to see, but keep vigilant. Waste walkers will give random players a fiery dot. Just heal them through it and dispel magic to negate most of that damage. The second group of adds, the Gurubashi. Get out of the massive green group on the ground. Apart from that, just watch out for AoE poison damage, single target bleeds, and of course, dispel poison. Third group, Jakari. The tank will not be able to pick up these adds, so if something is beating on you, then move away. Also get away from these random spinning balls of blue light, just don't touch them. Bear in mind, players might get the Mortal Strike debuff, reducing their healing received, and of course dispel random diseases whenever you can. The fourth and final group, the Amani. Never stand in front of a bear, don't go near a totem, and I can't stress that enough, don't go within 8 yards of a totem or it is liable to one-shot you. Vigilance is key. Heal through any casts that aren't interrupted, and of course, remember to dispel curses. Once all the doors are broken, War God Jalak appears. Everyone will be taking a lot of damage here. Cycle through your healer cooldowns whenever possible. When Jalak dies, Horridon will gain a single target damage buff. Overheal your tanks and pray for a win. Let's recap. Avoid Horridon's front and back current attack. You click the Dynamancer's green orb if it does drop and no one else has clicked it. The first set of adds, the Faraki, you move from the yellow swells and you dispel magic. The second group of adds, the Gurubashi, you move from the massive green group and you dispel poison. The third adds, the Jakari, you move from the balls of light, you move from the adds and you dispel diseases. The fourth set of adds, the Amani, you don't stand in front of bears, you stay away from totems, you dispel curses. The fifth phase, you just survive. That's it. Click the annotation you see on screen for the other boss guide playlists. If you click that nice looking subscribe button at the top left, then all future guides will come right to you. Like on Facebook for heads up on all my upcoming projects, leave comments about alternative strats, like if you liked the video, dislike it if you disliked it, that is what it is there for. Go for it.